Hey guys, I made a crocheted mesh tote using macrame cord. I made it this size to fit a bunch of my pouches. It could also be used as a grocery bag for kids. I used a 9mm crochet hook and this 3mm macrame cord. If you use yarn instead, you'll need to make more squares and use a smaller crochet hook. Place the yarn over the hook with the end facing forward. Bring the end of the yarn to the back, wrapping around the longer end. Then bring the longer end over to the front of the hook and pull it through the loop created. This is a slip knot. Bring the longer end over to the front again and pull it through the loop created. This is the first chain stitch. I made 29 chain stitches. If you want to make a different size, the amount of chain stitches should be a multiple of 3, plus 5 chain stitches. In the 8th stitch from the end, bring your hook through the back loop and make a double crochet stitch. To do this, yarn over, go through the stitch, yarn over again and pull it through the loop. Yarn over, pull it through 2 loops, yarn over again and pull it through both loops. Next, make 2 chain stitches. Skip 2 stitches and on the 3rd, make a double crochet. Followed by 2 chain stitches. Continue this pattern for the rest of the row. Make 5 chain stitches to start a new row. Then turn it over. Skip 2 stitches and on the 3rd, make a double crochet followed by 2 chain stitches. I went through 2 loops at a diagonal instead of straight above to see if it looked better, but I don't think it made much of a difference. But since I started it, I continued doing this for the entire bag. Repeat this with the rest of the row. I made 3 rows for the base. For the sides, make 5 chain stitches to start a new row. Continue the pattern going around the base.
At the end of the round, make a slip stitch. To do this, yarn over and pull it through all loops. Make 5 chain stitches to start the next row and continue the pattern. On the ninth row, I made 5 squares. 3 squares on the side, plus 2 in the front of the bag. Then I made 32 chain stitches for the strap. You want to have a multiple of 3 minus 1 chain stitch. I skipped 4 squares and made a double crochet. Then I made 7 squares. Two squares on the front, plus three on the side, plus two in the back. At the end of the row, make a slip stitch followed by 5 chain stitches to start the next row. For the strap part, go through the back loop of the third stitch and continue the pattern.
When you reach the end, make a slip stitch followed by a chain stitch. Then pull the end of the cord through the loop. With a tapish needle, weave the end a few times back and forth and cut the extra cord. And here's how it turned out. 